Hey YouTube, Mr. Black Mamba 305 here with you. And if you guys are joining me for the first time, thank you. Welcome to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks again for staying tuned and um and locking in with the channel. I appreciate every every one of you. Uh we are up to almost 2,500 subscribers. I want to take this time out to thank you guys very much. And if you guys could go ahead and do me a favor, just hit the subscription uh button if this is your first time, like and share the video, and that's greatly appreciated. My goal is by next year this time should have about 10,000 subscribers. I know there's about 95% uh, of you guys that watch these videos that are not subscribed. It would really help out the channel if you guys go ahead and subscribe. And with all that said, guys, let's get into the video. And uh, as you guys can tell by the topic, you know, um, why I still carry the bird APX and Turing as my everyday carry. And, you know, this is just uh, a pretty much a wonderful uh, pistol. Uh, it's a, it, you could do uh, carry it as a duty pistol. It's only a four and a half inch barrel, but it's still a very good pistol. Um, uh, before I go on, um, and talk about what I want to talk about, let me go ahead and safety check the firearm. You guys can see it is safety check. I do have ammo in the magazine. Uh, I, you'll see me insert it, but I won't rack it. And I'll always, after I do that, I will always, uh, check to make sure it's safe for my safety and the safety of anybody that's in the vicinity of this firearm. Uh, again, I'm talking about the Beretta APX Centurion. This is pretty much a compact compact model of the Beretta um, APX uh, series of pistol. They have a full size version, which is a five inch barrel. This one is a four and a half inch barrel. This is comparable to the Glock 19 Gen 5, you know, just Glock 19s in general. And, um, I switch between my everyday carry um, maybe every couple of months. Sometimes I feel like carrying my CZP 10C. Sometimes I feel like carrying uh, my Smith & Wesson 2.0. Sometimes I carry the Glock 19. Sometimes, most of the times, I carry this. And I'm going to tell you, obviously, I'm going to tell you guys why. Uh, so today, this is wearing a Crimson Trace. I necessarily, I, don't, I really don't carry uh, a light on the um, APX Centurion. I really don't. I just did this for, uh, you know, uh, for the purpose of the video. It looks good though, you know. So look at that little beauty right there. It's pretty nice, huh? And can you imagine put a little dot on the top. You know, they have a newer version. I think it's APX One. Uh, that comes with uh, optic ready, but this one, this one, I I didn't go optic ready. I've not quite fully gone over to optic ready yet. So I'm still rocking um, the APX without any optic plate. And, you know, I have just had not crossed over yet. I'm thinking about it, but I'm very comfortable uh, shooting without optics. So I'm going to stick with that for now. And then when I do decide to get a pistol that is optic ready, I am definitely going to share it with you guys. Um, so why I still carry the APX intern? I don't know if I made a short a little while ago, you know, saying how this firearm got stripped. You know, uh, not about maybe two or three months after I purchased this firearm, it started fading right here. Uh, as you guys can see, it is pretty bad. You know, the finish on it was pretty bad. I didn't really like that at all. Sent it into Beretta and they pretty much told me, give them the price of the gun and they will replace the slide. It wasn't only the slide, but it was also the magazine, um, both magazines. So, you know, I was very disappointed. You know, as you guys know, Beretta is the oldest gun company in the world. And I'm telling you, their customer service was not very good. I uh, love Beretta because I have a bred APX Centurion, I have the PX4 Storm, I have the M9, and I will still continue to, to purchase uh, Beretta firearms because uh, they were my first firearm. My first firearm was uh, the PX4 Storm in 40 caliber. So I really have a love relationship with Beretta, not a hate relationship. Um, I wasn't ragging on them in that short. I was just saying how disappointed I am on the finish of this because Beretta, you know, they're old enough. They had the military contract since 1985 till when SIG took over. So I really didn't like the fact that, you know, that they didn't take care of uh, their customers. You know, um, they've made so much money from the American market. This is something that they should have taken care of. But instead, they wanted me to pay $300 to replace this. Uh, anyway, this is not about um, uh, Beretta and, you know, the relationship I had with them with this gun. But it's about why I still carry the APX Centurion. As you guys can tell my dad, APX Centurion is pretty much uh, the same, almost the same dimension as a Glock. And uh, similarly, uh, they do have this blocky type of slide. As you guys know, the Glock 
to me, the Glock doesn't really have a lot of personality. And even though this is similar to the Glock, it has, you know, even though it has the same blocky kind of personality, it stands out a little bit more, uh, better to me than the Glock. Um, uh, and the reason why I say that, even though this is very blocky, the serrations that it has, it is very nice. I know a lot of people, when they saw this, they weren't too, you know, it, they kind of stayed away from it for a little while. I don't know. When I saw it, I immediately liked it. Some people, you know, they immediately disliked it. I really liked it. So when I saw the AP, APX Centurion, the price was amazing. It's comparable to the Glock. You get so much more than you get in the Glock. And on top of that, it was almost $150 less than the Glock. I, I didn't see how people passed up this pistol. And then when you get a chance to shoot it, a lot of people, you know, they say, oh, it's so ugly and so forth. But when you get a chance to shoot this pistol, man, it is one soft recalling mother. It is one amazing shooter. And anybody who owns the APX Centurion, can tell you that you know they love this pistol man if you ever get a chance to fire one of these go ahead try it and i'm telling you you will fall in love and the reason why i say that too i remember when um uh, i think his name is honest outlaw he tried the Breda px4 storm compact in nine millimeter and he was so surprised and you know i've known about uh, the px4 storm for years i've had mine in 40 caliber that recall is so soft and you know he jumped on it i guess somebody told him how great it was he jumped on it and he fell in love with that thing and it's the same way if you don't actually shoot this firearm you won't know how good it is it is very 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 soft shooting and it is a very nice gun to carry it is a little bit blocky and say for instance a female is going to carry this it's going to stand out a little bit well depending on how they're going to carry it if they're going to carry it inside the waistband or in their bag this is still kind of perfect it's a compact pistol i wouldn't really suggest like a female to carry this i would maybe suggest something smaller but the apx centurion if you're going to look for everyday carry is an amazing gun like i said um uh the slide is is pretty blocky not you know um a lot of people are not going to like that but i'm telling you um it looks big and heavy but that recoil is very soft um I, again they have the, the the serrations here they're not super aggressive but they are there you know you get a good amount of purchase on it and you can still grip it now if you're sweaty and you have uh, blood in your hands it's gonna make it a little bit difficult but if you're wearing a gloves it's gonna you're gonna get the grip on it you need so it's it's the grip is there the serrations are there and it's and it doesn't look it's not untasteful. It's very tasteful the way how they did it. And I really love this firearm. Um, they, they, they didn't plaster their name all over it. The Breda logo is there. Um, it's not bad. And then they have the APX on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. The APS logo right there. And then on the side, they have the Beretta logo with the Breda name right there. And then right here on the frame, they also have the Beretta name also. So um, I'm moving on again, as opposed to like, and I'm making comparison to the Glock uh, simply because the Glock is one of the most, uh, the Glock 19 is probably the most popular carry pistol in the United States. So that's why I'm making comparisons too. And again, uh, compared to them, this one comes um, for the price range that this one comes for. You know, before I go on, the Glock, you know, Glock 19, uh, Gen 5, Glock 19, they, they sell for over $500. And this one came in about 329, 330, 340. And um, compared to the Glock 19, you get so much more. The Glock 19, you're gonna get a three dot sight, but you're gonna get a plastic sight. So if you wanna, you know, wrap that thing from your shoes or on the side of somewhere, you know, w w with the rear sight, you know, you, you run the risk of damaging it. This one uh, comes with metal sights. So these are three dot sights, but they are metal, uh, both, both front and rear. You know, so that already you're getting an upgrade as along with the slide and the serrations in the slide, you are getting an upgrade. Uh, and again, you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the finish on the front, on the front dot is pretty shitty too. You know, it's pretty shitty. You know, again, I'm sorry that Glock didn't take care. I mean, Brad didn't take care of this gun, but I still carry it. it functioned, the functionality is still pretty amazing. Um, so you get metal sights. So the metal sights are three dots, you know, not, nothing, nothing too crazy about that. And the difference between these, you can drift these sights, uh, they're in the rear and the front. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little, there's a little lane right there. You guys can see it. You can drift it left and right to, um, 
do your windage, not elevation. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's also a version of it, I think, that has um, RDO, so optic ready. Uh, this one, this is just a regular APX Centurion. Um, what I went and did, I add a whole grip to it because I just love old grip. I've discovered old grip a few years ago and um, I just, you know, I just fell in love with it. It fits my hand pretty well. As you guys can see, compared to the gun, I have pretty long fingers. So my finger, my hand wrapped around the grip really not, like, like it's pretty much filled it up. So um, once I did that, I felt like I wanted a little bit more to old too. They do give you a back strap that you can change out. But I love whole grip so much. I love the rubber texture. I went ahead and put on whole grip on this. And I have whole grip on a lot of my pistols. So, you know, I, I have a love relationship with Hogue. Um, you know, I'm not sponsored by them, but I love their product. You know, so I went ahead and had the whole grip. You guys can see it has a palm, a little palm swell right there. And has a little texturing that goes on. And guys, it's very, like, it is very rubbery. Like, you put your hand on it, your hand is not moving. It's not sliding around. It just keeps it there. And I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of palm swell right there. It fits perfect around this, around this firearm. And it is pretty sweet. Um, the next feature that came with this one that I like very much is the beaver tail. You guys can see how pronounced that beaver tail is. It comes right all the way back. So when pretty much when you hold that gun, like it is pretty much going to aid that recoil when that gun comes back after you fire that round. Uh, you guys can see it there. You know, you got all that. Look at that. You know, it's pretty much really gives you a high rise up on that beaver tail to mitigate some of that recoil uh, for that big slide that's coming back. So that's one thing. I love guns that have deep beaver tails. So uh, the P10C, I love um, obviously 1911s that have those. And obviously any gun that comes with this, I really love that. Um, you know, the trigger guard is nice and and and. They give, they give you a lot of trigger guards. So if you're in a cold state and it's winter time and you're wearing gloves, you're going to have ample space for that trigger guard. I, I told you guys I'm promised not to put on that my finger on that trigger too much. Uh, if I do so, I'm always going to safety check. But they give you a good trigger trigger guard. And, you know, um, uh, they have, you know, they have the blade safety. Again, let me. So you have the blade safety. Um, you know, with that trigger. I think this trigger is a lot better than the inch safety that comes with the Glock. Uh, I find uh, follow-up shots with this is, is, is very quick. Um, I love the trigger. Um, I'll just let, let me show you guys what the trigger is like. I'll show you why I like it. So you pull that blade in a little bit. Okay, you got a blade coming in. Blade coming in. A little bit of take up. And that is about a six and a half pound, five to six and a half pound reset. A little long and then follow up you know so let me do that real quick so blade a little bit of take up pull okay reset fire man guys when you're shooting guys you don't even really notice that uh five and a half six pound uh trigger pull you just it, because it's so soft recalling you just want to keep shooting and shooting and shooting and again out of the box for 300 and change this one comes with a lot and again like i said this one i don't really run it with a light um i just put a crimson trace on it and you can see how sexy that look i just put a crimson trace on it just for show uh, just for the video and then it comes with uh, two 15 round magazines um, uh, I always keep them loaded I always run it locked and cock one in the chamber I just don't see how you want to do it any other ways I always put one in the breech because if there's something you know happening to you at that time you don't want to be fumbling around grabbing grabbing you want to make sure you have one ready to go and put your finger on the trigger and make that shot if need be and like I said it comes with two 15 round magazines um, it Fits me just fine. The grip, everything is beautiful. I just love everything about it. And again, it comes with Picatinny rail. So if you want to have your lights, your laser added to that, um, you know, it's it's it it, it it accommodates that. I carry mine in a leather holster. I'm huge on leather holsters. I'm not a big. I mean, I'm not really into Kydex that much. I just been. I've got into leather holsters. And I've never looked back since. I'm not opposed to using Kydex or anything like that. But, you know, I love leather holsters. So I do carry mine a leather holster. And again, guys, I don't want it with a light. You know, when I when I decide to go uh, optic ready, then I'm probably going to, you know, 
have a different holster. But for now, I enjoy just, you know, shooting iron sights and, and, and just the way the gun comes. Again, the gun comes with two 15 round mags. And um, what else I like about this gun, why I still carry it? Um, the undercut. The undercut is very nice. As you guys can see, it gives you ample undercut right there. You guys can see right there. Just put my finger. It fits perfectly fine. And that whole grip just hugs my hand and it feels amazing. And this is why I still carry the bread APX Centurion. This one, I have about three to 400 rounds through that I've, I've, I've broken it in and it's a pretty sweet shooter. Um, I, I promise you guys, if you guys pick up one of these, you're not going to regret it. And, you know, and those are all the reasons why I still carry better APX Centurion over my, over my Glock or our CZ or something of the sort, because it is, you get so much for the price that they're giving you. The gun runs amazing. I'm telling you guys, watch all the videos out there. You're really going to hear any negativity about this firearm. What I didn't understand is that what I don't understand is why the fact that Beretta did not like put more advertising in this firearm, even in the new one that they, they brought out, I think it's the APX one. They rarely said anything. They just drop guns. They don't tell anybody. And then before you know it, somebody's reviewing it. And that's when everybody finds out. I think if Beretta did uh, better advertising and put some more money into advertising this firearm, it would be up there with pretty much the CZ P10C, Glock 19, you know, Sig P365, it would be right up there. But because they didn't do any of that, the gun didn't gain the popularity it should have. Um, and I think, you know, um, they did a detriment to, 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 to this piece of art. Uh, again, uh, it's a love a relationship when you see this gun. Some people see it, they say it's too ugly. Some people see it and they say it's pretty much, um, it's, it's very nice. Me, I, I think it's a very nice firearm. I, I love it. You know, breakdown is super easy. You know, uh, obviously pull it forward, rotate this thing, take it off. And that's pretty much, it breaks down like a Glock pretty much. And again, this is Beretta's uh, first iteration of a striker fire pistol. So it's a uh, uh, single action only. Uh, so it's a pretty sweet firearm. You know, um, what else can I say about it? You know, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. You know, it's very accurate. And I love carrying this and I, this thing. And until I'm really ready to get into optic ready, uh, this is what I'm going to keep carrying every day, guys. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in to watch this video. Hope you guys got some insight on the Breder APX Centurion and why I still carry this as my EDC. Um, like I said, I switch them around a lot, but then um, I do uh, carry. Uh, I do carry. Um, I carry this a lot. I just love this one, and it's just what it is. Um, guys, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So when I put out wonderful videos like this, you guys are one of the first to get these videos. And I will really, um, appreciate that, uh, if you guys can help me grow the channel. And again, for all the people that are watching from international countries like Sweden, India, South Africa, um, I've seen places in, um, uh, uh, Australia. A lot of you guys watch my videos. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching. All the people in the United States that watch it, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, and share to the channel. And that is my two cents on the Breda APX in Turin. Thank you, family.